I met a woman a few weeks ago whose husband had just about severed a thumb cutting kindling. So it's years since I made a video on kindling and I thought it would be really nice to make one on how to cut it and how to do it safely. Anyway, I brought a few tools and I brought a couple of things just to show what we shouldn't do. But um, alright, let's make some kindling. So, the first thing when making kindling is to be comfortable. You see I put a seat here and it's all at the right height. It was an old sergeant who told me once, any fool can be uncomfortable. I listen to that man and I always try and be comfortable. Now, tools today. We've got the obvious, um, a big old axe. We'll look at safe technique for that. And then, then we've got a hand axe. This is what causes most damage, I think. I know two people who have nearly cut a th finger off, and then I heard of this one um, poor old chap who's nearly cut his thumb off, and it was all with some sort of hatchet hand axe, I think. And then, my most favourite new toy, a fro and beetle. But before we start, I've got some green birch here, just because it's what I happen to have. So let's get the bark off that first. Of all the things in the countryside that can be used to start a fire, birch bark is my absolute favourite. The bark on this log is not the best. The tree had a spot and was half dead. Still, lovely to have some. I'm using a small blunt pruning knife, which is absolutely perfect for this job. So, oh, now the fro. Firstly, wrap the log with a bungee, a piece of rope or a piece of inner tube. It will hold the sticks together while you do the splitting. The thing I like about the fro already, and I, I really do like it, is it's so accurate. You're cutting to the exact size you want. With a piece of oak, I would cut the stick smaller. With something like pine or poplar, I would cut them much bigger. nice that you can hear someone in the background working wood, sawing away. Also, it's pretty obvious that my beetle needs to be heavier, and I've got a friend who's got a load of tropical hardwood, one called Oakum, really, really heavy, and I'll make a new beetle out of that. But just look at that, perfect bundle of kindling, all done fairly quickly, just great. The pro was used to cut roofing shingles, and I'm happy to make slab using it, ready for the axe or the hand axe. This is the one time I wear a glove when doing axe work. With this technique, a piece of wood can come back up into your hand because your hand is so close. The key thing here is everything's moving slowly and steadily. The weight of the axe is doing the work. So give the axe just enough power to make the split. And note there, as it gets closer to my hand, my hand goes away each time the axe starts moving. And finally, the hatchet, my favorite tool. Note again, my fingers are pointing low and down, and now a sissy stick. It's the same when chopping up some old pieces of fencing. Keeping my hand out of the way, and on the last cut, making sure it's low and my hand is nowhere near it. Now, just now, we used a sissy stick, but what about something even better, a sissy clamp? Honestly, your fingers and thumbs are worth it, so why not hold the piece of wood with your hand far away? 
That must be the safest technique of all. Also note, in splitting, all of my tools are blunt because sharp tools get duck. It's hard doing your own camera work sometimes. Now, just before we finish, I want to show you a tool I almost never use and something that's actually really dangerous. Now, this is a really old billock, but what's important is this burr all along here. This isn't my doing, can you see? But somebody has been making kindling with this by whacking the back of it with something like this lump hammer. And it's a really bad idea. When I first worked in the woods, there were 33 men worked with me and two of them were blind in one eye. And in both cases, it was from hitting metal on metal. In their case, a felling wedge. But this is the same. If you were close to this, really give me a whack, a piece of this burr could come off and get you. Anyway, um, I like bullocks. This has <laughs> had a very hard life. They're a great tool, but not for this. This is really bad technique. Really bad. So, I'm losing the light, the frost's coming down, so I've got to hurry up. I've really enjoyed today, it was great. I'm going to start using a sissy stick a lot more since the thumb story and I've learnt that my beetle needs to be heavier. Otherwise, the hand axe, the axe, getting some bark off the birch, it's all lovely. It's so important to enjoy living with wood fires and sitting here quietly with a cup of tea, just chopping kindling, uh, listening to birds and my neighbours building and aircraft and all the other noises that have gone on. But it's been great. But I also really like looking for sticks, going out in the forest hunting for sticks, and we'll make another video about that one day. Anyway, thanks for watching. Enjoy your kindling.